In this video, uh, we will try to understand uh, what is the importance of where keyword, when to use it, and when to not 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 use it. If you see that you know in in C# 3.0, this keyword was introduced. Uh, but today, when I look at the source code, I see that developers use the where keyword left and right. You know they need it or they don't need it. They use the where keyword, right? So this video will help you to visualize or help you to decide uh, that basically when to use the where keyword and when not to use it. So what exactly is this where, is this where keyword? Now when we go and define any data type in C Sharp, the way we define a data type is we say int i is equal to ten, or we say string str is equal to shift. So what happens here is that you know this i becomes an integer data type. And this str becomes a string data type, right? So this definition is this this i is decided that it is integer because we said int. This str is decided as a string because we said string over here, right? But when we say where, so when I say where uh, x is equal to ten, you can see that what this where keyword does is it actually looks at the right hand side. So he says that okay, at the right hand side it is an integer. And then he says that this x then has to be an integer. You can see now, when I move my mouse here, automatically uh, he has decided that this x is an integer. Okay. If I go and make this as a string, something like this, you can see that automatically the where keyword says that okay, so now I see the data is of type string, and he has made it a string. If I go and define this as a decimal, let us say 12.23, something like this, you can see that he has made it a double. So basically, the where keyword, what it does is it actually looks at the value, and then during the compile time itself, it decides you know what is the data type. But now the question comes is that how useful is this? What is the need of this? Because if you see. If I use this where keyword for primitive data types, primitive data types means for integer, for boolean, for decimal, then you know my code will not be readable at all. For example, you can see that when I say where x is equal to ten, where uh, g is equal to ten point twelve, uh, then I say where uh, t is equal to true. Now look at this. It is very difficult to guess that this x is an integer. This g is a uh, a, a, a double, you know, then this t is a boolean, right? So definitely, it is very, very difficult to read this. You know, I, I, I need to look at the, look at the data and then decide the data type, which is definitely not worth, right? So definitely, you know, this is more clean. This is more readable. So when I say int x, when I say double g, when I say boolean t, so this is more readable as compared to where. So the question comes is that definitely, uh, you know, personally I find that when you're using the where keyword for primitive data types, you know, definitely it is not worth. So again, the question comes: When should I use the where keyword? So you should use the where keyword, you know, when you cannot guess, you know, what kind of data can come from the right hand side. For example, now look at this. You know, if I say where uh, data or where where my type is equal to something like this. Look at this. I'm going to go and put a link queue expression here. So uh, I'm going to go and put a link queue expression. Don't worry about this code at this moment. Just leave it. Now uh, let me go here and uh, put this code out. So okay. so here is a complex link queue expression. Which I'm putting. Now you can see that uh, the right hand side is so difficult to guess. I don't know from this right hand side, you know, what what fields I will get, what kind of data type I'm going to get, right? So if you have this kind of a situation, you know, where it is very very difficult to guess from the right hand side what is the data type, then you should use the where keyword. That means that you should use the where keyword, you know, when you have a link queue expression. You should use a where keyword when you have an anonymous type at the right hand side. So basically, use the where keyword when you cannot guess from the right hand side 
you know what kind of data type uh, is there right great so that brings us to the end of this very very small video uh, so I'll just tell you I uh, will again revise so basically you will not use the where keyword when it is primitive data type you will not use the where keyword when you know that what kind of data can come from the right hand side you will use the where keyword when you do not know what kind of data type is coming from the right hand side so I hope this I hope that you enjoyed this video in this video we were trying to understand when should we use the where keyword and when we should not use the where keyword.